Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangel. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, child of God, they are so bitter. They are so bitter that they hate to see anything sweet. When they see beautiful things, they just want to divide it. You know, in this generation, you realize that peaceful marriages are being divided by haters. You realize that peaceful friendship are being divided by haters. They become so bitter when they see anything that is sweet. You know, businesses, uh, investment, this, that, ministry, sometimes because of the bitterness of the enemy, they just destroy it. And you see people isolating themselves, getting separation. They don't want to show their face anymore. Hallelujah. This person, they were so bitter about your journey and they betrayed you. This is a situation of being backstabbed. By being backstabbed by someone who thought who you thought was even loving what you were doing, not knowing that this person was an enemy, was an enemy. But hear me very well. This is where the message is going. The same way they betrayed you, they are being betrayed. You know the Bible says, "When a man saw something, he will repeat." That is why it is good for us to say to sow good things. The Bible says good name is better than riches. Yes. So that is why it is better. It is very important for us to sow good name. Because anyone that sow bad name, bad name is what the person will reap. There is no two ways about it. It is karma. You know, they are so bitter. And they went on to betray you. They backstab you. These are people who you felt that they were there, they were just, they, they, they were feeling like excited about your journey. But now you realize that they were never really excited. They were bitter the moment they saw your journey going. And they began to betray you. You know, there are many people, even ministers who close up their church. You know why? Because of betrayal, they could not take it anymore. There are many ministries, when, when, when you think about you sit down, maybe you are the type that know of many ministries on YouTube, even on Instagram, Facebook, the social media platform. You would think about some ministers that you used to know, that you used to see. But suddenly you are not seeing them anymore. It is not that they are dead. It is not that they are dead. Most of them, the reason why they went into isolation, it is because of betrayal. Because of the bitterness of the people they trusted. It takes the grace of God for somebody to stand after being backstabbed, betrayed by somebody you thought was, on, was with you in a journey. I am a testimony of that. You know, I am a testimony of that. There was a time I didn't want to come out anymore. I was like, is this how it is? But, you know, there are people who have stumble skin. For me, I have a very stumble skin. I am like, well, despite this betrayer, I am not going to allow this to stop me. It was not easy. Sometime after I prayed, I will, after I've gone out praying, I will start crying. God, this mission, this assignment you put in my hands is too heavy. I'll start crying. I prayed. I'm off the prayer session. I'll sit down in that same place where I prayed. I'll be crying. God, this betrayal is too much. Until gradually the Lord said, I am teaching you. Many are still coming. I'm still going to separate a lot from your journey. Just be ready. Now, child of God, those that are bitter, about your journey they themselves have been betrayed when the lord told me that word many i think a year to two years ago since that time when i'm faced with betrayal you know as a human being i might be broken but i don't allow it to get to me 
because it is God that know who he will allow to remain in my journey. It is God that knows who he will remove because he sees ahead. Anyone that go, no matter how close the person is, I might feel hot, but I will not let it stop me from doing what God says I should do. But it is not everyone that have that mindset. Some persons are like, I'm not doing anymore. I am done. My journey I have completed. And God will not, will not strive with such person. Hallelujah. Because he does not strive with any man. He just go and patiently wait for the person to come back. That is what he does. Now the betrayer that betrayed the child of God, they have been betrayed. They were so bitter about you. They hate anything good. They hate anything good. I pray for you, no matter the betrayal you face in life, it will never get to you to a point where you don't want to live the life God said you should live anymore. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus loves you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.